In this movie, we're going to continue modifying existing report. We're going to continue to use the report from the prior movie to illustrate how crystal report functions and works. One of the fundamentals of crystal reports is the area that you have to work with. Essentially, the area you have to work with is defined by the printer. For example, if I go to the file menu and page setup, I get my page setup window. From here I can choose portrait or landscape. Now if you need more space from left to right as opposed to up and down, choose landscape and press OK. From here, as you can see now I scroll over I have more space to insert more fields. Let's go back to our page setup. Now I can also choose a larger size of paper including legal up to 11 by 17. These options will be defined by your default printer. If I wanted 11 by 17, for example, on landscape, that would give me the maximum for most printers. Again, a lot of it depends on how you plan to display these. If you do choose an 11 by 17 and export to a PDF or to an Excel, well, then when they print those and the default without changing anything, it's going to look for a printer with 11 by 17 paper and print it out as thus. So if you mean 8x10, I suggest you stick with 8x10, or at least modify the print settings before you leave them on default and go to print. Another option you have is to say, no printer, and optimize for screen display. Now notice it left it pretty much on 11x17. That button will leave it on the last known page configuration. Now if you just mean to display this on a screen, this usually works pretty good. I recommend you stick to whatever works in your specific case. Since the most common is to print it out on 8.5 by 11 size paper, it's good to keep your report in that format even if it happens to be landscape. Keep in mind you have limited real estate, as it were, to add any number of fields to the report. Speaking of which, now that I have more space. Let's go ahead and add some fields to this report here at the end. If I go to my view and choose Field Explorer, I can now choose from my database fields. From here I need to pull in Refund Amount. And I also need to pull in Type. As you can see, as long as you've pulled the tables you need in, you can pull any field from those tables. You can also create your own formula fields and add them as you fit and rearrange them to the order that you desire. In short, once you have a RPT file, that's a report designed in Crystal, you can pretty much change it to do whatever you need it to do and display what you need it to display.